Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. We keep seeing terrible news. Tragedy struck when six persons died in a road crash. And then three persons have died in a ghastly accident along the ever busy Lagos Ibado Expressway. Another one, 16 persons have been born to death and others wounded in an auto crash. An auto crash has left five persons dead. And now the Yubal Torutimi Salami escapes a fatal crash with his new PA, according to the actor. He was involved in a car accident and himself and his PA escaped. He shared this on his social media platform where he was thanking everyone who had reached out to them regarding this car accident that at this moment they are perfectly fine and grateful. He said he escaped the crash and he has enough to be grateful to God for and he prayed that may death never be our portion. People actually lost their lives. May the soul of the departed continue to rest in peace. This brings us to 2021 when this actor also escaped. After being robbed at gunpoint in Lagos State, he shared this also on his social media platforms and revealed that it was along the Badagri Mautu Road alongside with his brother who was also in the car with him and the four armed men robbed him according to him he was refusing to cooperate with them and that angered them to break the window glass and even tried to shoot his brother if they don't release their mobile phones and luckily for them when he was given the second phone to him after the first one some mirror guys started walking towards them that was how those people fled away on motorbikes and fans had some relief that this actor was safe. So this is the second time that he'll be sharing something like this, that he has escaped. In his words that day, I'm not hot in between trailers in his standstill traffic. Four very young boys showed up from nowhere, broke my car glass with gun. When I refused to wind down, threatening to shoot if I and my kid brother don't drop our phones. Thank God I was luggage to drop both phones. I gave one, and while I was trying to disconnect the other, I gave to them. People showed up and chased them. But they flee with two standby bikes parked on the other side of the road. Please note, do not respond to any WhatsApp chat from the number. And please speak to me directly before transacting any business with me this period. Those best can do anything with their phone. This is the second time this actor will be sharing a near-death experience, virtual or testimony on his social media platforms. The first one was with this armed robbers in Lagos State. And the second one is this one that he said he was involved in a fatal crash. It is new PA. Oh, there are some other actors who have also escaped and they also share their testimony on social media platforms. It, it seems there's more danger now traveling on the road and all that. So early this year, the actor and producer Kunia Ford extended gratitude to God after surviving a ghastly accident that left his own driver badly burnt. According to the actor, the boss he boarded got to bonds with the driver and the, and the elderly man who offered assistance in the process, sustaining grief injury. And sharing this testimony on his Instagram page, he revealed that that incident had happened on that Monday. And he said earlier today, disaster tend to happen as my boss got to bonds. The driver was brutally burnt by fire and also an older man who intended to win assistance was equally burnt. But special thanks to God Almighty that no life was claimed. The other actor who escaped that is the star actor Latifa de Tola did image. In fact, he released a music video to express his gratitude to God Almighty for escaping that after break failure. The movie star posted a video which featured his wife being paid on his Instagram account thanking God for his life. According to him, the incident occurred a few days before that time due to break failure. However, he did not share details about exactly what happened just the same way wrote me also didn't share all the details but then he wrote may the almighty be praised which of the blessings of god will i deny you are indeed worthy of all my praise thank you for your love thank you for my family thank you for my wife thank you for saving me that I escaped death few days ago with the brief failure is all by your grace thank you god for always coming through for us i will praise you always allah Fellow celebrities and fans also joined him in expressing gratitude to God Almighty for his safety that day. Another actor who escaped that a while ago was the veteran actor Raza Kolaiwola, who is probably called Ujubagugu. He survived the ghastly auto crash. The talented thespian had every reason to give thanks to God Almighty as he escaped from sudden death.
the car was said to be coming from Isai, you know, your state, and was heading to Ibadan before the car got crashed after it tumbled for a few minutes. Though they didn't get all the details, but then when he was asked, he confirmed that his car had an accident when he was not even inside it. He was supposed to be there. In fact, his family, his wife and kids were supposed to be there. And in its words, yes, my car got crashed, but I was not inside. I'm at a movie location in saying, you know, you stay shooting the part of a movie titled Arinju. And I told my boy to go and bring my wife and children in Ibadan to Isai. The accident occurred on his way to Ibadan, along Oye Ibadan Expressway at Iruko, Akinyeli, about 7.30 am. The car is Nissan Primera 2.0 with registration number, Lagos EY557 LSR. A pedestrian was injured while trying to run for his life in order not to be hit by the car. I was rushed to a nearby hospital at Akinyeli. We have been searching for the boy until yesterday when one of his relatives called to tell me that they got information that he is in the hospital. We hastily moved there to check on him, but to my own surprise, I'm here to set my eyes on him. This was part of the things that he shared that day. The other actors who escaped tragedy were the actors Odula Derikola and Bola Jamusha, who is really called Mr. Latsin. It was reported that these two when they were on the road, they were attacked by robbers. According to the eyewitness, the duo were returning from Blue Music Tour in Ijebuode, and then when they were informed by vehicles to make a return that robbers were operating on the road uh, around 7.30 p.m. Just like others, the Nollywood duo abandoned their car and fled into the bush for cover. They reportedly stayed in that bush until the daredevil robbers finished the operation. Though they suffered minor scratches, the two checked themselves into a nearby hospital where they were treated and released. The two were returning to Abokuta from Ijebudi when the attack happened on Shagam Abokuta Expressway. A notorious spot for armed robbers and kidnappers. However, the two shared that they, they, were, they just wanted their fans to know that they are okay and all that and they give thanks to God Almighty for saving them. This actor today is also sharing his own testimony with him, Mr. Lamy, as he also escaped a fatal crash. Uh, this the actor is a film producer as well in the University of Nollywood. He's a receiver of the African Magivia Strength Awards. He has been in the movie industry since the year 2007. He attended Lagos State University and New York Film Academy. He has a diploma certificate from New York Film Academy and a graduate of sociology from Lagos State University. Featured in the first movie, Unknown Revenge, in 2007, and later featured in some television series. His first movie as a director is a television series called Kuti's Career Palace. We have come to the end of this episode where this actor shared the news that he escaped a photo crash with his new peer.